Anger is a healthy and normal human emotion. Frustration, injustice, hurt, and betrayal can all set it off. Anger can drive us to act in order to solve a problem or protect ourselves from harm. However, unmanaged anger can lead to destructive behaviors and relationships. There are numerous theories about the roots of anger. According to some experts, anger is a biological response to threats. Our bodies release hormones that prepare us to fight or flee when we perceive a threat. Physical symptoms include increased heart rate, sweating, and muscle tension. According to some experts, anger is a learned behavior. By observing our parents or other caregivers, we may learn to express our anger in specific ways. We may also learn to use anger to get what we want or to exert control over others. Others believe that anger is the result of a combination of biological and learned factors. They contend that while we are predisposed to experience anger, our environment and experiences shape how we express it. Regardless of its origins, anger is a powerful emotion that can be both beneficial and detrimental. It is critical to understand our own triggers and learn healthy ways to manage our anger. Brain Chemistry Anger stems from an intricate interplay of biological, psychological, and social factors, with brain chemistry playing a key role. The delicate balance of neurotransmitters, such as serotonin and dopamine, has a significant impact on mood regulation. When this balance is disturbed, it can contribute to increased irritability and anger. Essentially, the chemical composition of the brain has a strong influence on emotional states, and imbalances may increase the proclivity for angry reactions. Inherited genetic traits also play a role in the complex web of anger's origins. Individuals with a family history of anger issues may inherit a predisposition, making them more vulnerable to intense emotional responses. This genetic link emphasizes the complex nature of anger, in which biological and environmental factors interact to shape one's emotional landscape. However, biological aspects are only one layer of the complexity. Psychological factors such as past trauma and unmet needs interact with the biochemical foundations. Traumatic experiences can leave emotional scars that encourage anger as a coping mechanism. Unfulfilled emotional or psychological needs can manifest as frustration and contribute to an individual's anger threshold. Environmental influences further nuance the synergy between biology and psychology. Stress, a common environmental trigger, can lower the threshold for reacting angrily to a variety of situations significantly. Cultural and societal norms are also important in shaping acceptable expressions of anger within a community. In essence, the roots of anger are deeply ingrained in the complexities of the human experience, with brain chemistry acting as both a responder to external stimuli and a shaper of emotional predispositions. Recognizing and comprehending these roots lays the groundwork for developing effective anger management strategies, recognizing that dealing with anger requires a multifaceted approach that includes biological, psychological, and social dimensions. Unmet Needs At the heart of anger is a profound human experience. The unmet needs that shape our emotional landscape silently. When our emotional or psychological needs are unmet, a simmering frustration can turn into anger. This is about more than just physical needs. It is about the fundamental desire for validation, connection, and comprehension. Consider a situation in which someone is constantly feeling overlooked or dismissed. The underlying need for acknowledgement festers, providing fertile ground for anger. Unsatisfied needs act as catalysts, amplifying emotional reactions to the world around us. It's not just about what's missing on the surface. It's about a deep longing for something that feels vital to our well-being. This aspect of anger taps into the human desire for acceptance and significance. When people face a persistent gap between what they need and what they get, frustration can boil over and explode into anger. It's a powerful reminder that emotions, including anger, are frequently manifestations of unspoken, unmet needs that demand recognition and resolution. Understanding the origins of anger and unmet needs invites us to delve into the complexities of our emotional selves. It invites us to investigate what lies beneath the surface, acknowledging that anger is a dynamic response to the complex interplay of our desires and the world's responses. We embark on a journey of emotional fulfillment and a more nuanced understanding of ourselves and others when we recognize and address these unmet needs. Modeling Behavior The roots of anger frequently find their way through the pathways of modeled behavior in the intricate tapestry of human behavior. Consider a child who absorbs the nuances of emotional expression like a sponge, learning not only from explicit teachings but also by observing how those around them navigate the emotional maze. 
This modeling process lays the groundwork for how people understand and express their anger. Unintentionally, parents, peers, or influential figures become architects, laying the groundwork for how anger is perceived and channeled. Aggressive behavior becomes a learned response when it is normalized or even rewarded. A child who witnesses explosive anger as a problem-solving strategy may adopt similar patterns, not necessarily maliciously but as a reflection of learned behavior. However, the impact of modeled behavior does not end with childhood. We continue to absorb and emulate the anger management strategies demonstrated by those around us throughout our lives. If the resolution of a conflict involves heated arguments or avoidance, these patterns can become ingrained, influencing our own reactions to difficult situations. Recognizing modeling behavior as a source of rage encourages us to reflect on the lessons we've internalized. It makes us wonder if the ways we express our anger are learned behaviors or deliberate choices. Breaking the cycle entails actively choosing alternative, healthier ways to navigate and communicate our emotions, as well as understanding the impact of modeled behavior. We reclaim agency over our responses in this process, which helps to reshape the emotional landscape for those who observe and learn from us. Unrealistic expectations. Unrealistic expectations emerge as a powerful root of anger in the intricate dance of human emotions. Consider the scenario in which lofty and often unspoken expectations become the standard against which reality is measured. When life does not conform to these unrealistic expectations, frustration sets in, paving the way for anger. Unrealistic expectations can take many forms, including expectations of ourselves, others, and even the circumstances in which we find ourselves. These expectations shape our perceptions and reactions by acting as a lens through which we view the world. The greater the gap between expectation and reality, the more likely it is that anger will bubble to the surface. This phenomenon is not limited to one area of life, it pervades relationships, careers, and personal accomplishments. Pursuing perfection or expecting constant positive outcomes can set the stage for disappointment, creating a fertile ground for anger to thrive. Recognizing unrealistic expectations as a source of anger encourages introspection and perspective shifting. It serves as a reminder that embracing flexibility and accepting life's unpredictability can be powerful antidotes to anger. Adjusting expectations to reflect reality's complexities promotes resilience, paving the way for a more measured and less reactive approach to life's ups and downs. Individuals can navigate challenges with a sense of acceptance during this recalibration, reducing the likelihood of anger based on unmet, unrealistic ideals. Ego Protection The primal instinct of ego protection lies at the heart of anger's intricate tapestry. Consider a situation in which one's sense of self-worth or identity is threatened. It is at these times that anger frequently emerges as a shield, a fierce guardian of the ego. The instinct to protect one's ego, whether it's an insult, criticism, or challenge, can quickly manifest as defensive anger. Ego defense is based on the idea that any threat to one's self-image must be avoided. The mere perception of being wronged or slighted can set off a defensive response, with anger serving as a powerful counter-response. In these situations, anger becomes a means of preserving one's dignity, asserting dominance, or regaining control in the face of perceived vulnerability. This dynamic does not only apply to individual interactions, it can also affect group dynamics and societal structures. When collective identities or beliefs are questioned, the collective ego may react with rage, bolstered by a shared sense of righteousness. The need to protect the ego, both individually and collectively, adds layers of complications to the root causes of anger. Recognizing ego protection as a source of anger opens the door to a journey of self-awareness. It encourages people to examine their vulnerabilities that trigger defensive anger and consider alternative responses. Cultivating a resilient sense of self that isn't easily shaken by external challenges becomes a powerful strategy for anger management that is rooted in ego protection. Individuals may discover a more nuanced understanding of themselves and others during this exploration, fostering empathy and dissipating the fiery grip of ego-driven anger. It is also critical to remember that anger is not always a negative emotion. It can inspire us to take action to better our lives or to fight for what we believe in. The key is to learn how to express anger in a healthy and constructive manner.